Hello, I'm fjx 3 and welcome back to this video. Today I want to talk about water physics in Minecraft, and specifically I wanted to talk about how they're broken right now in the way that they need to be fixed in the Ocean Aquatic Update. A lot of you might be confused when you hear Jeb say stuff like, oh, he's going to be entirely changing up the water system, he's going to make sure it actually makes sense. You might be confused as to how it doesn't make sense right now. Like, sure, water's a bit weird and you can do stuff like this, but in today's video I wanted to show you all of the ways water's broken so that you can abuse it right now until the Ocean Aquatic Update does come out, and also just in case you're curious as to why this needs to come, then you can learn that. So hopefully you'd all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and lets me do like this sort of video where again we kind of talk about these bigger, uh, you know, fundamental issues of the game that again you can abuse for a little bit until it does get fixed in the end. So uh, yeah, basically the reason I know a lot of this stuff is because I have been building a lot underwater lately or with water. I have the sugarcane farm like you just saw, but I also have this huge underwater tunnel. Oh, it's not huge yet, but it's going to be huge later, let me tell you, as well as this huge cube which is like ice covered in water. Basically, I have a lot of this stuff around the place and because of this, I realize a lot of the weird water glitches, also speedrunning the uh, Elder Guardians, so, or the, yeah, the Elder Guardians, and uh, this makes me realize that there's a lot of weird things you can do with uh, water that probably shouldn't exist. So the first one that Jeb has specifically mentioned is he thinks it's weird that you can immediately, you know, refill your breath bar, so the bubbles above your hunger, just in case you've never been underwater for more than 10 seconds, but yeah, basically you can immediately refill your breath bar just by using any form of temporary air gap, which means a torch, for instance, the moment I place it there, it, it lasts for literally 0.05 seconds or something, but in that point five seconds, somehow I breathe enough to last a full 10 seconds below water. The reason this is a problem is because it means that one, you don't, if you're like a certain amount of good at the game, you never have to worry about breathing underwater, so the respiration enchantment, the, uh, you know, water breathing potion, they're kind of useless while this exists, and two, it means you don't have to worry about the other ways you can create airlocks, and they're all kind of fun, and I want to talk about those a little bit. But the other issue with, um, you know, the water thing is that right now, so, you know, the breath bar needs to be fixed, and that's the reason why. You saw the technique there, it's really, really easy to work, and once you get it down, you can fight the Elder Garden, you can go into an ocean monument, but like, we're talking like minutes or hours if you really wanted to, just breathing every 10 seconds like that. But if you wanted, uh, you know, but beyond that, um, one of the uh, interesting things about the uh, water effect is the fact that water takes up a full block. There's two types of water in Minecraft, there's source blocks, like you can see up there, where it's flat water, and then there's flowing water, which comes out of these source blocks, as you're going to see right here. So, the interesting thing about these uh, blocks is no matter what the type of water is inside a block, it, it will always consume the entire block. If you place another block where the water was, then that block takes up where the water is instead. And you might say, why is that an issue? Well, it's an issue because not all blocks in Minecraft take up a full block. Like, again, it works just about when you have solid blocks like this, like, sure, that makes sense. But when you have non solid blocks or non-complete blocks, like uh, fences, for instance, you can see how there's this weird thing where, like, oh yeah, the water has to stop and go entirely around the fences, which leads to this situation right here. And this looks really great, but it's also really logically inconsistent, and it means you can breathe in this weird gap here, and also, it means that water can't get past fences. So, for instance, if we have down here, we want to get air into this gap over here, or water into this gap right here, but then we cover this in fences, so... I'm gonna have to breathe in a second, but let's just like chill for a second. Uh, like, if we surround this by fences, we make a little lock cage, so let's get some air inside here. If we make a little lock cage over here, as you can see, where the water should be able to get through, because again, it's like entirely, okay, so we'll place a thing up there, where the water should be able to get through, now no water can get through to there, which means not only is this logically inconsistent with itself, but, well, at least once we get rid of this, so if we place the torch there and there to get rid of this, then as you can see, now there is a weird gap here where the water can't get through here, despite the fact that it clearly should be able to, and this means that water won't flow into places that you really expect it to. So yeah, this is cool to look at and you know, the water, uh, the, the torch under there, it's fascinating to see, but it's also again, logically inconsistent. But the crazy thing about this is not just fences, because I feel like fences are a good example and they've been shown off in the trailers before, but a really interesting example to me is the half snap. So this works with the stairs too for the record. So if we place a stair like this, for instance, you can use the one quarter of the stair that's not underwater like this. Again, no logical sense, but <laughs> whatever, that's just how water works. And you can also use this for like almost x-ray glitches. We can see my oil all the way over there, like, do you know how far away that is? We can see it because, again, it's basically like we're not through that stuff. We can see where the clay is underwater, and you can use this to crazy advantages because of the way it works, so, you know, that's kind of strong. But you can also use this as half slabs to make really confusing underwater pathways where you actually have air the entire time, despite despite being underwater. So, again, I've got some half slabs here, about 47, and we can use these to uh, show off this example. Again, this is really, really powerful. I would recommend, can I not get through here? 
This is really powerful. I actually would recommend you use it, even though it's a bit cheesy, and even though, again, it's like, it, it's gonna be fixed in the next update. If you wanna have fun with it, now is the best time to do that, because if you, okay, so we're gonna have to quickly get some air. We could use a torch, but we'll go for, for oxygen like this, how you're meant to, because the oxygen bar will take about a second to regenerate. Basically, yeah, if you place half slabs on the top half of a block, then that entire block now can't be water, because the block value is uh, half slab. So that means that you can stand in here, and that's kind of nice by itself. But then if we use a bottom slab, so if we place over here, and we only use the bottom slab, then the same thing happens on the in the reverse, unless we do that, of course. But this means, okay, we made a couple of mistakes there, but this means that you can have a pathway underwater, like you're gonna see right here, and the crazy thing about this pathway, once we actually fix the bottom bits here, the crazy thing about this pathway is we're walking underwater, we're walking in a clearly one full block of water right there, but it creates this weird illusion, and also, it creates this air bubble up here, which means you can walk in water while still being able to breathe, keeping your head technically above the water level. I don't think it actually is technically above there, but because your camera is above the water level, which is what counts in my Minecraft. Uh, basically, as you can see right here, I'm walking in water while still being able to breathe, which just makes even less sense than any of this other stuff combined. And if you wanted to, you could like place a sign here or something and have entirely water-free walkways while in surrounded by water. That doesn't make any sense, you know, in Minecraft or elsewise. And also the way water physics work like this, they're a little bit strange. So in this next update, they're gonna be fixing it so that one, water will be able to flow in the same block as a, you know, like a half slab or something. You know, they'll create, I assume, you know, variants off the fences, variants off the, uh, the top half slab, again, they're not gonna be uh, publicly known variants, but they'll be like, you know, half slab for half the block and then water for the other half. And that will make way more sense than what we have here. This just doesn't make any sense. This isn't how water works. Water is a fluid in the real world. But in Minecraft, water is like this thing that expands from one block and that you can't reach certain places because of the way the block data works. So there you go, fun facts about Minecraft. There's a squid stuck between those sponges. But then uh, to show you the craziest examples of this that you're probably aware of and you've probably used at some form, but you might not be, is uh, that you can actually use signs to get rid of water entirely which makes, again, so all of this stuff here, you can just about argue makes some sense, but the one thing that a lot of people use that will be probably fixed in this update is the fact that signs block water. So this only works, again, for the same reason that the data value cannot contain both a sign and water, but this means you get this ridiculous thing where you can, again, take full damage inside water because there is a sign there. And again, although this is fun, although this has some uses, some buildings might collapse on this, the fact that you can make a house underwater entirely from signs, one, it, I mean, it's a cool thing, but it also, it just doesn't make any sense, right? So we'll do the same thing just here and then we'll do the same thing over here and then just like that we've got like <laughs> that's all my signs done but you can see how we've created air pockets using nothing but signs it's ridiculous and in the next update they're going to make official ways to do all this stuff so that your underwater builds make more sense and also uh, because there's going to be stuff underwater so that the underwater is both a scarier but more interesting and more you know fun to build in place so yeah as well as removing all the stuff that exists now they're going to make it better in the future for stuff like again having water and something exist on the same block you'll now be able to have underwater signs that won't function as air holes, you'll be able to have underwater fences that let water through, and also items will float to the top of surfaces, which means if we throw something, instead of being trapped at the bottom, like that torch there for instance, it will float to the surface by default unless you have magnet there, and that one is such a big deal because it means that finally killing mobs in water, such as dolphins, or I mean not that you want to kill dolphins, but such as fish or such as uh, you know any of these uh, things underwater, or sharks maybe, uh, if you kill any of these things underwater, then it means that instead of uh, you know like having to go to the bottom for squid ink, I do that all the time, like finding squid it's swinging as a pain. Uh, instead, you can kill the mob and it will float to the surface and you can easily get it. So there you go. That is my rundown of why water in the current Minecraft is kind of broken and how they're going to be fixing it in the future. I hope you did all enjoy this video. Again, it's been, uh, uh, it's been a while since I've just done one of these like technical explain videos and <clears throat> they're one of my favorite types of videos to make on this channel. Sorry about my voice like dying today. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of streaming really, so late, lately, so it's been like uh, wearing my voice. But I'm having a lot of fun in those streams. I'm having a lot of fun in the videos. And uh, thank you to everyone who's been sticking around and making this possible. I really do appreciate you and uh, I'm also really looking forward to this update like I know a lot of you are too I feel like this really could be one of the bigger updates or one of the most exciting updates in quite some time and that's why I want to just give you a rundown on why this bit's so exciting so yeah will my sugarcane farm break I hope not but there's a chance it will will your insert water field here break I hope not but there's a chance it will but the truth is is uh, although water is gonna be changing it's gonna lead to so many new positive outcomes and that gets me excited personally so thank you very much for watching this video you can like it if you did like it because it helps out the channel a lot let's know you do like this sort of video, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see me in the Ocelot every single day. Well, I mean, not really this thing, but you'll see those every single day, and that might be a thing you're into. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.